morning guys we're actually um, heading out today so I'm going to bring you with me for a little bit of a, um, a look around we'll be going to the post office to pick up our mail because of where we actually live and you're actually on hands-free so I'm not holding you whilst I'm driving um, whilst we actually live out in the, the country a little bit we don't get mail so I'm going down to the post office to pick up the mail and then I need to go a little bit further along and I've got to go and get some medication and get a couple of little things from the the, um, the shop so I'll bring you along where I can and we will um, you might be able to see a little bit of Tassie at the moment you're kind of looking where I am obviously and coming out of our gates press the button to shut them now we're going to get a little bit bumpy because we live where there's a bitumen road as you can see and it gets quite bumpy from time to time as you may have seen in one of my previous videos they don't sort of keep it up to date a lot of the time with things but um yeah anyhow this is us heading out what are you all up to today I think I'll um after I um, get home so I won't be out for long because I don't like staying out long and I only go out when I really really need to and I really really need my medication so that's mainly what I'm going out for otherwise the mail could wait um yeah I'm gonna do some baking and whatnot so my husband's managed to set up our camera to like an above head mount sort of thing I'll, I'll, I'll film it for you so you can see how he's managed to set that up for me I was quite impressed he, he was able to do that but um, I'll show you that but that will actually look down so you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing in the bowl whilst I'm cooking which will be great so I will do that um, I'll take you in and introduce you to Rachel at the post office she is the lady who owns the post office down here and she's so sweet um, so I introduce you to her I've got a couple of ideas for some new vlogs that I'm wanting to do and um, so I'll, I'll drop those down we'll do some planning so there's a little bit happening today um, of course I've got to do the animals and the cattery that goes without saying and any work related um, office work um, for our business I do that as well and generally that's the first because it's the most important thing that I need to do but we're actually waiting for some payments to come through for some um, invoices which we've sent out at the moment so yeah, there's not a lot to be done at the moment because we've sent invoices out and waiting for those to be paid so we can then in turn pay everything else know what it's like you know the money comes in in one hand and goes out in the other so I'm hoping that you can actually hear me once we um, stop I'll be able to see I'll rewind it a little bit and see if I can actually if you can actually hear me or not or if I'm talking not loud enough because the iPhone is obviously up on the actual windscreen I may not be so I might be talking to myself for nothing but that's okay that's that's life isn't it guys so you know, other things I've been doing I've been um, getting some in inspiration from coffee with Kate and mummy mum money mum um, and a few other people on YouTube so that's always great and I mean it gets me to thinking about comparing yourself to others you know at the end of the day I've watched different vlogs and things like that and everybody does them differently and we're not trying to do something exactly the same as somebody else has done it before because that would just be boring um, I mean you guys might think my channel's boring and 
I'm really sorry if you do, but we do have a lot going on in our life and um, it gives me something to do when I'm, you know, at home and I could be just sitting there by myself and not doing anything is to sort of start up this little YouTube channel and show you a bit of my life to actually give me something to do as well. So it keeps me doing things and sharing them out there with, you know, those people that want to actually watch my channel and see what we do. I mean, it's probably not very interesting to some people, but others might, might enjoy it. I mean, there's quite a lot of YouTube videos out there where we all do similar things like planning and budgeting and, and whatnot. And as I say, at the moment, money's a little bit tight on our end because, um, yeah, we're waiting on invoices to come through to be paid and as we work for ourselves we don't have any set income which comes in we um, we have to wait for people to pay us and sometimes you know they can go on for months and so you, you've obviously got to pay your workers and, and things like that that are working for us um, so yeah that's a, a big stress at the end of the day but one which normally is okay but um, yeah <laughs> It can be a little bit stressful at times, that's for sure. So at the moment there's um, not a lot of funds that I have to draw on to do, you know, my normal day-to-day -day life um, things. Because as I say, waiting for people to pay us, we've got to wait to get our money um, to, to do anything. So yeah, my frugality is really coming in on board at the moment. So yeah, I've been making bread at home, so I need to make some more so that's something that I can also show you today now my husband has managed to set up my my um, my camera and when we pop into the post office we might be delighted to find that um, one of my above head camera mounts or whatever they're called has come in for my iPhone so I'll have a few different um, angles that I'll be able to do things on which will be great will make life so much easier when I've tried to do cooking vlogs and things like that before it's been quite difficult because you don't get to see it all you only get to see little bits and pieces you know holding the iPhone and trying to do something one-handed then you've got to put it down and then you've got to go and um, do something else again so um, it's just one of those things and here we go we're coming to a stop so, so they're doing um, some work on the on the road, not on the road, on the on the lines, um, power headlines above. So we've actually been told that the um, the power is going to be out for a period of time. I think that's next Monday between eight and four I think why they turn off the lines to do some work and to replace what may need it to be replaced and things like that as they do to keep everything running smoothly for us I mean I know we all get annoyed when things don't go according to plan but I guess if it wasn't for these guys out here doing the upkeep on all, all the infrastructure and things like that around we wouldn't have have it at all so you know at the end of the day we really can't complain um, it's just that we get, all get used to having um, our you know you can go and turn your lights on when you want to and you know, your freezer is fro has all your frozen goods in it and things like that you want to use your hair dryer you can do and then all of a sudden these things are no longer available to us just because they're working on it is an inconvenience and we do get frustrated um, but anyhow, it's just one of those things, and especially when you work from home. So of course, working from from home means I need power, and because we actually live out in the country, um, our toilets and everything is hooked up um, to our pump, which pumps the water out from our tanks. Of course, we're not on town water and then in turn that flushes our toilet so of course when our electricity goes out that means we can't flush toilets either so that means that we need to keep some buckets of water on hand and um, fill the, the top of the um the toilet reservoir up in order to flush toilets when we have no power 
so you know all these little things you don't realize you can't have a cup of coffee so maybe make a thermos um, in the morning if you're desperate to have hot drinks throughout the day make sure you've got your lunches you know ready that it's something you can just have a sandwich or or whatnot because you can't put a toast to make or, or anything like that um, just all those sort of little things if you know you can sort of prepare for it which is what we do but at the end of the day again as I say it is an inconvenience anyhow guys you're getting to see a little bit of Tassie this is um, now on the like the highway that goes from Hobart to Launceston um, so we're on that it's called Midlands Highway coming down through um, this is Baghdad and then we'll be going into um, what do you call it Mangalore, Pontville, Brighton because um, Hobart is about 45 minutes from our home so you're still seeing a little bit of the countryside along here but um, that's okay if you like actually coming for drives with me or not but um what i might do is fasten it up when i get home so if i stop talking for a little bit um that's probably what i'm doing i'm going to fasten it up so if i stop talking then you are here whilst you're actually playing it back so 60 these roadworks have been happening oh for a year or more. It was so frustrating. I actually got caught for speeding along here. I was um, only doing a little bit over the speed limit, but um, yeah, it's got caught none, none, nonetheless. And um, it was my fault. I shouldn't have been, you know, I should have been paying more attention to the actual speed of it. When you're kind of looking out, as you can see, there's only those little dots in the centre there to show you what line you've got trucks coming the other way and then there was bol bollards on the side which were concrete so you kind of take your road, eyes off the road for, for a second to look down to make sure you're doing the correct speed you know <laughs> back and forth back and forth making sure everything's going right and you're not going into the the, um, the lane that's on coming to you and, and things like that of course while you're driving so yes just um, just those driving hazards that you have to keep at all times and you know be on the ball and kind of watch out for everybody else who's driving around you because you might be the best driver in the world because you know we all think we are um, but it's so easy for things to go wrong and that's the post office just there on the right hand side we'll call in there on the way back through so that's where I call in and get my mail and um, oh Rach isn't working today we've got Vic on today so you might actually get to meet Rach today but um in there so she's just this lovely so I'll call in there do you guys like living in the country or um, would you rather live in the city or in the suburbs for me I don't like having neighbours so close that I can reach out and pretty much touch knock on their door from my bedroom window I don't like that oh going fast let's slow down a bit um, see how easy it happens you just kind of take your mind off it for a minute and I'm too busy chatting away to you guys and I don't um, realize that I've gone five kilometers over the speed limit no ten actually oh dear that's even worse we don't want to be doing that I don't want another speeding ticket so as you can see those big trucks are really quite close when you um, when you are um, driving on this little bit I mean you know you can see you have uh, down the other side there but still at the end of the day it's only going to be one lane either way which is absolutely ridiculous when we've been driving two on either lane whilst they've been actually doing the road and what they've been doing is pretty much just um, resurfacing or uh, digging it out um, making it a little bit wider but not wide enough apparently that we're going to be having two lanes which is what we all wanted so anyhow that's that's what's happening um, and they are also putting in another a bypass connecting to the, the bypass that they have now 
paddock um, on the other side, on the left hand side over in the paddocks there. So this is really going to just be a huge waste of money in, in the long run you would think. a game of tennis rather but I'm um, uh, so preoccupied with what's happening on the other side of the road um, you know looking at people's homes and gardens I assume and you know all that sort of stuff we're all sticky beaks at the end of the day and um, yeah they become complacent with what we're actually doing when we're driving so I'm almost down to the chemist another couple of minutes away probably three or four minutes maybe we shall be there now this is a 60 zone normally it's you know 80 to 100 along here so it takes a lot longer than what it used to that's for sure certain some lovely old homes down here in Tassie um, I don't know if you, you probably really can't see them very well on the side of the road there but um, some beautiful big old stone homes if you like that sort of thing and for me I love old homes I love the character of old homes um, I think the new homes and things like that, although very nice, just not my, um, I mean we're building a new house now, um, but everything I like is ecleptic, so I can have a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this, and um, that's my style, ecleptic and country, you know, that sort of, I think it's more homely like a lot of the new homes and things like that these days but of course it depends on how you actually build it what colors you use and what furniture you put in and things like that um, for me it, they're quite quite stark and i mean each their own everybody loves different things as we all know but for my my um what i actually like is a nice comfy cozy you know eclectic home if i could do everything with second-hand products I would love absolutely love to be able to do that um, a lot of our or majority of our furniture and that inside our home is all second-hand when we actually left Queensland to come down to Tassie um, and that was back in 2010 we gave away and sold or I don't think we even sold anything we pretty much gave away or threw out everything that we had it was cheaper for us in the long run to come down 
um, because we had a few cars that we needed to be driven down with um, air, the cars packed the and trailers attached and we had one smaller sized shipping container which actually got set down and we put everything in that shipping container including a car and the other cars as I say we drove down with um, trailers attached and absolutely loaded up to the hill there's another police car um, so we, um, we brought everything down that way which is why we got rid of everything and because at the end of the day we knew we were building we didn't know exactly what sort of style we were going to do or anything like that so we brought a couple of pieces down that we have with us everything else we brought second hand because you know still doing the home and things like that we're not not finished so we don't want the exact furniture in there that we actually want now whilst we're building so yeah we're just making do with what we have at the moment and I love that and to be able to do that um, for the long term would be great too but of course building a new house we use new building materials I would have loved to have been able to do it all all through um, second hand products and things like that but that's okay um, at the end of the day it is what it is and I love it and with no mortgage as you all know I would do it again in a heartbeat so we're actually coming into Brighton here guys this is um, Brighton in Tassie um, down in Hobart oh, well, not actually in Hobart it's um, in the southern Midlands so just a little little country town although over the years um, it's sort of getting overflowed with people coming through because they need to buy up the land and subdivide and things like that as the actual um, estate grows with people of course the infrastructure needs to, to grow and whatnot as well so this which was a tiny little town once upon a time now has a community center uh, doctors coming up here on the right hand side and a dentist which has only been there in the last probably five or six years maybe um, it's got an IGA a couple of service stations um, uh, um, like a, a pub type thing where you can go in and get meals it's got the chemist here on the left hand side which is where we're going um, so at the end of the day it's got you know a, a couple of little convenience stores that we um, we need and other than that you just go down a little bit further to um, get into Hobart where the main shopping centres and things like that are but if you're like me and you don't like crowds or shops this is um, ideal and we're allowed to park in the disabled spot because of my MS I actually do have a disability parking permit so if you're wondering <laughs> or thinking I'm doing the wrong thing I'm not. So off we go again. There's an ambulance. It's the second one that um, has just gone flying down through there. That's never a good thing. Have a couple of little things in the IGA there that I needed um, came to exactly ten dollars <laughs> she said as I was checking it out she said you couldn't have done that if you tried and I said no I wouldn't have and she said I bet if I didn't tell you what you had you couldn't manage to go and do it again either no I really don't think I could but anyhow and then I grabbed my prescriptions in the chemist I think that was about twenty two dollars something but I'll show you what we spent when I get home. My being frugal, there's so many things I could have picked up in that shopping centre. Um, the little shopping centre being the IGA. It's like, no, nope, make it yourself, you don't need it. Make it all from scratch. 
so that's what I'm doing. But one of the things I actually needed was, um, what do you call it? Self raising, not self raising flour. Oh, the um, the powder to baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. So if you wanted to make your plain flour to be self raising flour, you add in the baking powder, which is what I need for some recipes. So I've got the baking powder now, so I'm happy with that. That and some rub to put on the steak that we're having for dinner tonight. Um, some little elbow noodles to make some macaroni and cheese. I saw Simply Sarah make some and it looked really nice. I thought, yeah, I'm going to have to try and make that. So I got those noodles because, um, or the pasta rather, not noodles. I needed the elbow ones to make it. I mean, we could use anything, but I mean, I didn't want spaghetti pasta for my cheesy mac. So I got the noodle, uh, the elbow ones. So we'll be baking that as well today. When I get home, I'll um, go and do the cattery and whatnot, and then come back and we'll start doing some cooking. I will do so. And 
it also, you know, makes you realise that you can be frugal. You can live out of your cupboards, your pantry, and your fridge and freezer. Um, and you know, you can make do with what you've got when you have to. Because at the end of the day, because we don't have to, and the shops are so convenient these days and things like that, we oh, we've run out of milk. Let's go down and buy some milk. And then of course when you go in there you don't just buy one item generally you go in and see you're spending you know three four dollars on a, a carton of milk um you come out 50 60 dollars later with you know some chocolates and a cake or some biscuits or you know rubbish that you really don't need or you could have cooked from home so it, it's a learning curve as well as you know saving money it makes you realize just how easily money does slip through our fingers and you know guys, I'm absolutely over that. I don't want money slipping through my fingers anymore, which is why we'll be doing a, a plan with me as well. And a plan with me for budgeting that is. And we'll be going through our budget, which is really difficult because we don't actually get a set income, as I said before. So I, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to put ourselves on one in order to be able to make every cent count and everything else that's sort of left over business um, and I'm not going to do the business um, budget and things like that because business is a business and it does what it needs to do what it needs to do pretty much so that's something that take, can't be taken into account I'll just need to separate what we actually need for living expenses home you know electricity phones and all the phones I mean there, there you go they're not for home they're actually for business so that's something that I won't have to um, fuel that's something that you know is a business related expense because anytime I generally hop in this car which is mine and it has a fuel tank on the back and it's always full so when my husband or my daughter or somebody calls up and says the machines are running low on fuel which are out on the job sites I actually need to go and take this in order to fill those up so yeah that, that too you know probably costly expenses for most people that um, is actually a business related expense for us so that that's one good thing. So yeah, I kind of have to manage to set ourselves up a um, a wage, so to speak, um, that we will draw upon, and that the way we'll be able to use that and be able to work from that and share with you. Um, doing that, budgeting for that. Excuse me, which I'm quite excited to do. So almost up here to the post office. really looking forward to having these tablets that I've just gone and got because one of them is actually Nexium because I get a lot of heartburn and things like that. Oh, yeah, they start yawning. Oh, excuse me, it's starting to yawn. I find when I do get into a car, it, it instantly makes me tired. I'm surprised I haven't started yawning well before this. Usually by the time I get down from our, our hill onto this road, I was usually yawning from the beginning from the get-go so that didn't start probably because I've been talking to you all but um I don't know I want myself at the post office and we'll and see what we've got today <laughs> probably more bills um as running a business you know you do need a lot a lot of um a lot of bills you do have a lot of um, accounts and things like that in order to run your business well, of course those red ones that come in are usually the ones that <laughs> are business related which is fine but um always to be accounted for and pop in here and grab my mail okay back again off we go I was watching Coffee with Kate and her and her husband um, went on a bit of a, a road trip which we came along with them which was lovely <laughs> but I was amused that the um, 
I was watching them thinking, what are you doing driving on the wrong side of the road? Not obviously then realised they're in America. So of course everything looked different and out of whack. Um, so I guess if you're all watching from another country, um, you'll be thinking exactly the same thing. But we're driving on the opposite side of the road. Anyhow. <laughs>
I'm looking at the moment, we haven't had a lot of um, rain. I'm starting to get colder now. And we do get snow up where we live. Um, they do get it down here as well, but um, we live up quite high. Um, so we tend to get it before most of the other people. But, um, it's really pretty when it actually snows, although it's very, very cold. Um, it's still very pretty. Dogs like running around and playing. actually done this little bit just up here that you'll see and it was 350 meters so all of our um, rates and things like that that we pay and more houses are getting built up here now obviously not going to our roads which is pretty unfortunate right.
to open the gates. This isn't the colour that our house is going to be, it's going to be a very light, lightish grey colour. This is just the, um, the boards that are on prior to us painting them. So everything all matching with the roof being um, the monument colour, which is like a really deep grey. Um, same as what the cattery is over, over here. Cattery there being dark grey. We were going to initially do the blue, which is why we had that little blue sheet first up when we first got here. But that's now going to be coloured into the monument as well. Decided we like that colour better. And things will come together very nicely. But I'm going to pop inside now. Catch you soon. And yes, in the mail was my above head camera mount from my iPhone. So my husband will sort that out when he comes home because I looked at it and I was like, probably very easy but my brain's not working at the moment and so I'm not certain how to put it together but um, this is what he did for me for my actual camera so he's taped that up with our famous duck tape here in Australia and that comes down that is actually off my grooming table for my cats um, so this pole here and this part up along here and that holds the, um, the the dryer, um, the commercial dryer. So when you're blowing dry your cats, you can have that attached there so you can have your hands free to hold your cat and to brush it at the same time. But anyhow, guys, that's what's happened this morning. Thanks for watching and I'll go and be doing some cooking shortly.